Hello there, welcome back to episode 2 of my gameplay series for the early access of Soul Ash 2. We are going to go through this gameplay and check out what we can do while trying to destroy the world. Obviously, you can crawl on banana palms here and gather bananas, which is pretty awesome. And today we're going to clear out more of these random locations and grind up some more pyromancy and see where we will end up with that. So I ended up checking out a couple of things here and there. And one of the few things that really were interesting for me were the fact that I am able to create me more water skins. So we're going to take that snake leather and make us another water skin. There we go. Maybe I'll do that twice even. Because the more water skins I got on me, the more water I can store. And currently water is that one resource we are not storing well enough. Okay, another jungle biome. Let's see if I am unlucky and draw another snake pit. Be too surprised if that would be the case. So, let's eat some and let's drink some drink here. It'd be really cool if that would be just accessible by a hotkey here. I'm pretty sure there is a hotkey to drink. I just should look it up in the options in between the episodes. So my main goal for today is grind up my skills more and fill up my inventory until I have to go back and sell something. There's a tent there. And graves. All right. The Circus of Blood. Okay. How delightful. And I thought I'd be the only evil guy here. So, there's a treasure chest hidden. And there is a skeleton. Two skeletons, actually. Come on. Three skeletons. Jeez. That's uh, quite the party. No, that was not what I meant to do. All right, still needing to get acquainted with the uh, controls here. Obviously, I can't set up somebody as my target and then spells automatically go there. So, oh, oh, look a here. Them guys got gear. Nice. So... Got me a white fur and a piece of clay. All right. The sandbox nature of this game is really cool. So I can lay attack. Okay, there, there's now snakes. When I expected, just when I started to expect skeletons pretty much exclusively, along come more snakes. Well, I totally don't mind. Ah, here. So the shield slam does increase my protection skill. I was wondering, in between the uh, this and the last session. Adventuring! I love this. This leveling system is so much fun. Alright, let's crank up the willpower. Tad bit more. I'm really curious to find out what is going on inside there. All right, so there's a ton of people there going to go. Oh, all right. So I discovered that stabbing people with my dagger is uh, increasing thievery. Okay, okay, this guy is a real pain. Two of them. Okay, skeleton archers are bad for me. Alright, so... I surely do deal more damage to them than the other way around, but these guys are actually dangerous. So I'm hiding now, because I'm a smart wizard. Okay. So... Put up the shield wall again. That does reduce the damage 
pretty much. Okay. So there's a regular skelly coming on in here. I don't care about that guy too much. I think the thing I want to do now is I'll just soak up the damage. And nuke that guy. There we go. So I want to go with that skeleton far, far away from this place. Just in case that there are more archers. I don't want to uh, stomach another one of these archers so far. These guys are dangerous. I like it. So. This whole random location system of the game can be... I, I can see how that can work really, really well. Okay, so... Pull back here. Heal up. Okay. So, these guys. Rusty helmets. What's more physical resistance? Copper buckler. Well, currently I don't want to pick up too many different things, but I feel like that is just outright better. And, well, can we see a comparison? Ah, oh, yeah, hold it down, shift, just compare these. So, yeah, it's just objectively worse. Okay, we can salvage things in this game, no? So probably... Yeah, well, let's clear out this place, and then we're going to start salvaging the loot. I'm gonna sleep a bit. And let's see. Let's eat a bit raw meat. Ugh. Or my poor villain has not the easiest life. I would be grumpy too if I'd had to survive off of a diet of uh, raw meat. So... Why is my skill bar suddenly deleted? I had that today before already. was not able to find out what was going on there. Just discovered that my other fire skill can inflict burns ease too. Alright, I've noticed that we've got the attention of another skeleton archer. Certainly not the best news, but since I was healing myself up this guy is not too much of a big deal. Alright, the... Uh, this archer is going on in a melee. I, I wonder if he's out of arrows. Well, whatever. Ah, the, the brushes and the vegetation start to burn by now. I start to feel like a proper fire mage. There we go. Okay, this place is a lot more dangerous than the previous locations, but so far, this is so cool. Okay. So, this reminds me of the uh, old Soul Ash days. With God encounters and all. Something's behind me. Here's another snake. Let's go there. Ooh, another level of pyromancy. Really gotta check if I learned something new. Yeah, I think a tent should be a little bit more susceptible to fire damage than it currently is. It feels a bit weird how much uh, how much direct fire this uh, this thing uh, can withstand. Oh, I can now go for blood extraction, I guess, because I got a, so many spare containers. Jeez, what is this place? There are so many undead here. What happened this, at this place? But, well, well. 
Alrighty. So I'll definitely be pilfering the world a little bit more. Increasing my skills like that. Alright. So it begins. I'm starting to be bored by just one enemy at once. And we're getting there. Looking for more trouble. <laughs> oh yeah, I like it. So, I'll start meleeing the snakes a little bit now too. Because I feel like I do have enough uh, pyromancy training the way I play anyways. So, we don't need to stress that out so horribly. Okay, so far so good. So, what is in there? So, wait a sec. Uh context menu be gone. A tiger corpse, a rabbit corpse, a dwarf corpse, an iron maiden. A sign. Blood for the blood gods. Oh, that's what we were doing here. I see. All right. You crazies. Okay. So if I ever find something that requires blood, for whatever reason that might be, I'm in here for a treat. I also am unable to carry all the stuff that is lying around here. Okay, so I think it's about time to, to sell some of my pilfered goods. Or, let's see, I mean, nah, most of my weight that I'm carrying around is just food. Dear, oh dear. So we're going to split the stack and we're going to leave like... Nah, we're not going to split the stack at all. We're just going to drop the stack. So this is now lying around here, ready to pick up. Wonderful. So let's check with my newest skills. What did I learn? I had a lot of skill ups. So let's see. Adventuring wise, I learned to do a bronze ingot. Wonderful. Protection, we just gained a new thing there. Quick block, a new passive. Okay, and down here, a new skill, Fireball! Hell yeah! Fire Starter, you gain the Fire Starter tool with quality 100. Makes me kind of wonder if I can now cook out of my pocket. I mean, would make sense, no? Hmm, let's check that. So, let's see. Bear. Maybe crafting? No, obviously it has to be on the ground. So, you can't perform, you're missing a tool, cooking workplace. Okay, so, gotcha. Humanoid bones, hell yeah. I mean, they are worth quite something, obviously. So, well, I wonder, I can't level up pyromancy like this, this is not okay, this should not work like that. You can abuse this way too easy, basically that means I just need to stand around here and uh, start incinerating things, uh, yeah, this, uh, I mean, the game is early access, obviously, and I'm cheating nobody else than myself, but... Okay! Fireball, hey? Whoa. I didn't expect it to be that huge. Look! The entire room is burning! I love it! Ah. Oh, damn. So I want ice and fire ma ice magic, earth magic, and all these equally cool like that. Thank you in advance. Seriously, there's a lot of fun. Whoa! I got the forgotten, forbidden meat in my meat pile. Well, ah, I'm an elf. Who cares? <laughs> I think the previous versions of Soul Ash didn't support that kind of behavior that you were able to harvest that kind of meat. Anyways, so 
I'm filling my water skin with blood. I didn't mean to. So can I drink that now? No, I can't. Okay, so that's obviously more like a crafting resource or something like that. Let's sleep here and let's see. I still got 310 units of food on my on my character. Let's check with the skeletons. So I think the safest way to do things here will be to just pilfer everything and then dismantle it. Wow, rusty helmets are so bad, you can't even salvage them. So, I wonder if I start learning things if I salvage enough. So, let's see, did I learn anything out of that? Yeah, obviously I'm learning sword fighting. Yeah, 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 Wep weapon smithing is... Trained by crafting, upgrading, or salvaging weapons. There we go. And armor smithing too. It's uh, basically... We're basically destroying gear for the premise of learning to craft or self some one day. But... You gotta look at it like this. Once I have killed everybody on this world, somebody has to do things himself. So, better start learning now. It's a bit annoying, though, that we cannot uh, salvage these in, in one go, but, well, early access. Let's not take it too seriously. So, I gain wood out of that. Amazing. Feels good to be able to process your loot like that. Gives me the feeling that it's in my hands what, I, what I'm doing with my, with my loot. Just a little bit sad that this poor old little helmet can't be can't be salvaged. <laughs> Anyways, so since we don't suffer anymore from the um, from durability on items and such, I don't need to go for more things like there. Look at that firewood! I can now craft me some firewood. All right. So, I'm not going to abuse uh, the pyromancy leveling by just setting everything on fire. I could, but like I said, I would be only cheating myself. We are going to go to the neighboring elven city to save ourselves from dehydration. And also, I hope that I can sell off something there, because obviously we, we need... We need... So... Oh, we found a lot of locations here. But first, I need to fill my containers. Okay, so luckily water ain't heavy. It's not realistic, but whatever. I don't mind. I really don't. So what do we have here? Forager hut. So, let's talk elves. I trade goods. So, you guys got 20,000 bucks. Nice. All right. So, you are willing to buy my bones from me? Wonderful. It's just the kind of people I like. So, apart from that, well, what's weighing so heavy on me, actually? I think it's just the sum of the parts. So we're going to sell away the snake leather, as this seems to be nothing special. Look at the uh, tiger leather, though. Very valuable. Okay, so... I got money. Yay. Feels good. Feels good to be able to just sell away all these things there. All right. This is, oh, this is the inventory of the family that we were trading with. All right. Forest gatherers. Why am I not able to talk with you guys? Well, a couple of things feel still a little bit uh, 
wonky around the edges, but whatever. So I could buy nettle here. And they're uh, just willing to buy my human bones, just like the other elves were willing to buy my humanoid bones. Should I feel worried about the uh, alignment of these people? No, they're just elves like you and me. So, with a uh, leather worker, all right. Let's see if these guys, so they don't have any goods directly ask for training so he would be training my leather working if i'd wanted to and i can order leather goods here the fun thing here is the items are influenced by the stuff you put in there as you see here tiger leather has a lot of uh, abilities there and we're we're going to keep that for now i love how this game is so far feeling like let's see how things will develop now that circus of blood was a very very disturbing experience let's move over difficulty troublesome troublesome so obviously we're uh, no longer able to go into easy encounters Probably I'll just kill off my character now. <laughs> I just hope I don't. Let's be careful. And willing to run away. Alright. I really love that the procedural generation works the way it does for now. Can see expand I can't see this expanding quite uh, somewhere. Okay, let's tread carefully. Berries! The old cemetery. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to punch the brush out uh, the bush. So, adventuring is increased by discovering places. Nice. Nose for trouble. You discover special locations. Ooh. So, I improved on this ability. A ghoul. Right. One ghoul, two ghoul, three ghoul. All right. All right. That's a lot of ghoul. I'm not willing to punch a fireball in there right now. Okay. So. Looks like his bestie is in for a ride as well. So. Can we get this guy in here? Yeah. Bam! Environmental damage! I love it. Eh, uh, not quite. Alright. Due to the fact that my build is really good at keeping people at, di at distance, I don't feel that worried about myself here. So, I guess I shouldn't be including myself into the fireballs range. It somehow doesn't sound too healthy. Okay. The trees are giving the ghouls too much cover here. That's more like it. Yeah, I did hit myself. And I'm also burning. Okay. Okay. But so far, it seems to me as if... I honestly just need enough room for kiting. Ranged enemies... And enemies that are fast, faster than me should be really dangerous for me. Everything else, not so much. Although I gotta say these guys are quite resilient. Seems to me as if I'm missing some sort of a uh, extra steroid to 
punch up the damage. Maybe I need a proper mage's staff or something like that. Okay, well. Apart from needing to kite these guys kind of like forever, it is not that much of a big deal. So, I can pilfer ghouls ichor. Yum. Okay, crafting ingredient, quite valuable. Damn, this feels good. I love the fact that there's always something interesting to discover. Okay, now, hmm, I want to go for some endurance as well. You know, durability never hurts. So, what did we learn so far? Only ability points, magic power for weapon damage. Does that mean I can enchant my weapons with fire? Not quite sure if I'm reading that correctly. So let's see. I should be able to salvage that stuff. Oh, I, I should be wearing those rags myself. Damn. Okay, let's take a rest for a moment. These guys, they actually also hit quite hard. Double digit uh, smacks I saw incoming. But yeah, like I said. They eventually go down. Since I have endless ammunition on my pyro, I don't need to worry too much about that. Question is just how many of these guys are there? But I also think that if we are fighting them one by one, it should be better. quite important that I try to take them one by one because I think the moment I have like three of these guys at once on me the situation could become really problematic because as you see they are not moving slower than me so that means three guys would be the point where I am no longer capable of pushing them back in time and there is a high probability of one of these guys permanently being latched on me and look at that. 8 damage, 12 damage. These guys hit like a truck. But on the other side, they provide really valuable things that I can uh, carry. So, I don't want to wear that. It's just a very, very debatable piece of armor. I mean, it makes them even more vulnerable to fire. I don't notice too much about it. Okay, so... Hi. Fireball feels a little bit underpowered, though. It's uh, a, a terribly huge-sized uh, projectile that deals pretty low damage. But, well, I I am by now pretty sure that I need something like a, like a staff or... Or something that enhances my fire damage somehow. There we go. If they line up like that, they can also counter my shield bash's efficiency a bit. Alright. But all in all, it's okay. Focusing on one of the guys is just doing the trick as I do deal enough damage to take them down one by one. Okay. I really need to find out what's the button to uh, designate somebody as your target. As this seems to be a real useful thing. Okay. But as you see here, I'm already down at 50 per uh, HP. So I cannot take these guys lightly at all. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, these guys are so much stronger than me in uh, close combat. I opted into playing the mage, so... That is pretty typical. Okay. 
so far, so good. I think it is time to rest up once more. Because that's just way too scary. And let's proceed. Okay, so turns out leveling up some endurance is giving me more HP. And I do like the thought of that. Solar also really, really cool that as a fire mage, I have always vision in the dark. Okay, my good friends, we're going to continue the old cemetery the next time, as I feel as if this is right now a good point to drop the ball for today before something bad might happen. Thanks for being around. Thanks for watching. We're going to find out next time how things will continue. I hope that we're going to be able to get ourselves a base together soon, because I feel like that's something I'd like to do too, but one thing at a time. So, my good friends, thanks for being around. Leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing. And if you want to check out the entire series of this run, there's a playlist link down there. And there's also a link to Patreon, PayPal, and Buy Me A Coffee. I'd be delighted if you'd give them a look, as these are the best ways and means to support the channel. And a big, big thanks to all of you who already did. And a big, big thanks to you watching this video, because I really, really am happy that you were around, and I hope you're coming back for more. Have a good day. See you there.